Hello and welcome to XU Photography. My name is Daniel. Uh, last weekend I was at the uh, Värmland Star Party. Uh, it was about 50 people there, uh, all nerds like me, just eager to get starting. And we also got a lecture from Rebecca Forsberg at Lunds University, which is uh, studying stars uh, in the Milky Way. A uh, very interesting um, presentation. But the most interesting, for me at least, uh, because I'm a very technical guy, uh, was a uh, trailer dome. Um, a guy uh, called Anders has built a dome on a trailer. It's just as cool as it sounds. And this particular trailer might be the most <laughs> advanced and thought through dome uh, in the world. To start off with, he, he began with a basic trailer and cut a hole in it in the back of the trailer and uh, uh, worked out a tripod which has, which has a self-locking mechanism to just pull down the, uh, the tripod legs and when you're uh, releasing a latch uh, uh, sprint or something in the tripod it uh, automatically locks the legs and uh, also if the ground is uneven uh, after you've done that you, dr you raise up the whole um, assembly rat box uh, uh, mount uh, I don't know what you want to call it but it's a huge um, huge rat box basically uh, rise in that and uh, decouple the uh, oil spring uh, dampening uh, things, which I believe is patented as well. Those were very, very interesting to take a closer look at. So the basic idea with uh, having the telescope and the mount um, elevated and basically um, levitating in the back of the trailer is that you can uh, reduce vibration both uh, high frequency but also low frequency and he has measured those with uh, g-force meters bolted onto the the mount and the cage around the mount and i was really really impressed to see the video um, when he uh, hit the emergency brakes at 80 kilometers per hour down to zero in a couple of seconds and the thing is just absorbing all of the force. I believe the whole uh, mount structure is uh, weighing about 280 kilograms. Impressive. <laughs> I just lack words of it. Please give him a visit on his website, trailerdomes.com. I will post a link in the description as well. Right now he has a, a CDXL Pro mount, I think it was, and a C14 Edge mounted on this thing. The whole structure is supported by a real, really sturdy um, steel pipe frame, which is holding these dampeners, which in um, uh, their turn is holding the whole mount assembly. When you have um, mounted everything on the ground, it is uh, no part touching the trailer, so you can actually walk around in the trailer and in the warm room, um, which is in front of the trailer, and uh, uh, not disturbing the mount or, or the telescope in, in any way. Uh, so you got some clearance. So please check that out, truly amazing work. So we were 20 kilometers north of uh, Sunne in Värmland, uh, about 50 people uh, watching stars. I had uh, some astrophotography workshop um, put together where we share ideas and basic uh, um, editing knowledge. <laughs> I showed my uh, Muir Denoise um, workflow 
uh, which I just caught up a couple of months ago. I also have, so this is the Elephant Trunk Nebula image, which I'm really happy about. Uh, I have another image coming up, it's the uh, Bubble Nebula. Uh, I have uh, 16 hours worth of data sorted out from, from about 60 down to 16. Uh, because of high clouds, the moon, uh, yeah, you know the drill. Um, I'm looking forward to see that image. Uh, I haven't been the best at posting videos lately. Uh, I have a ton of work uh, at Volvo uh, where I work. Uh, but I have an upcoming video uh, besides this one regarding framing, uh, choosing what object to photograph, what to think about different kinds of methods for uh, finding objects, locating objects. I'm going to mention a bit about star hopping and such. But this was just a quick update um, that uh, basically we're, we're up and running again um, after the pandemic. I know there's still a pandemic but it's, it's fading out and hopefully it won't mutate anymore. Uh, now we got a war in Europe to to be <laughs> frightening about, but so that's upcoming, and um, I really hope you guys enjoy my videos, and I see you out there, and uh, take care as always, clear skies. <laughs>